Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome back to the third and final part of the new Coastal Waters add-on, guys. So in the first two episodes, they were about 30 minutes long, we went through hundreds of fish, and they're separate varieties, basically. And in the last one, we're going to still, we've got four chests to cover, we did three in each, so it's going to be a long one, this, guys. Uh, but there's a lot of fish to show you, uh, and if you haven't seen the other videos, go back and check them out. So Coastal Waters by Gagut's Animation, been in the making for months now, for about 18 months. It's got 400 fish and sea creatures, there's more eels and stuff like that. Uh, all sorts of things and squids and stuff like that. So we've got some more stuff. To, oh, and sharks. Yeah, we've seen shown the sharks. So one of the first things that Gagut's animation wanted me to show you was the two corals that have been introduced. So you can see behind me two types of coral. On this side here, the little flat round areas are called uh, table coral. And the other coral is the staghorn coral. Now you can see what's happening, guys. Certain fish are attracted to certain coral. So uh, the Chromis, Chromis, I think the Chromis and the, I'm trying to think which way, but basically the Chromis, the damselfish, the sergeant majors, the cardinals and Anthias will be all attracted to the corals. But you can see behind me that there's two different types. So these two types here, this is, oh, I know this is the Anthias here. Anthias here and then we've got the little I think these may be the cardinals or the damselfish there's two types here as well uh, so the fish sort of congregate uh, around the corals and just swim around so that is really good for exhibits uh, and over here there was one that was here all the time you might have seen it in the previous videos and you can see look the little fishes are just floating round so if you've got a small tank uh, I suppose they would just congregate here. So it's a really good, uh, good idea because they're like, you know, just floating around on top of the corals, which they would anyway, wouldn't they? So it's really cool. Really like that a lot. Uh, I never noticed that before anyway, but that's a really cool new feature that's just been introduced. Uh, so anyway, guys, we're going to show you lots and lots and lots and lots of fish. Today we've got the angel fish. Oh, I think we've got some more angel fish here, haven't we? Oh, rabbit fish. Uh, angel fish, we've got fusiliers, we've got bumpers, we've got mullets, have we? We've got soldier fish, chromis. Oh my God, cardinal fishes as well. There's so many fishes we've got to show you today, guys. And dotty backs and banner fishes and pork fishes. Right, so without further ado, guys, it's going to be a long video. We're going to have to get through it. We're going to start with this crate here. So you can see, guys, if you haven't seen this uh, add-on before, the, some of the fish will do schooling options. We have got some schooling options to show you. So we're going to start over here. We have got over 60 angel fish to show you. Uh, so we're going to start over here. So what's the first one up? We have got this red regal. Ooh, ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Red sea regal angel fish. So these are going to be quite big and quite small, the different ones. Uh, a a by angel fish that's the diddy one so there are diddy ones as well being so many around the world there's bound to be uh blue angel fish oh in fact let's just put that on there wow that is beautiful a bicolor angel fish <laughs> Queen! Oh my word, look at this. So, uh, yeah, Gagut's Animation's been updating these fish. Absolutely superb. From when last year, when we first showcased it, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, right, black-edged angelfish male. That's Diddy. So, and black female. Oh, the female's a bit smaller. Different colour. Yes, yeah, the male. That's the female. Uh, French angelfish. Whoa, look at that. That's a biggie. That's a biggie. Coral beauty. Ooh. Wow. Asfur angelfish. Oh, I just love them all. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. 
Right, so grey angel fish. Oh, they're just they're just brilliant, aren't they? A lemon peel. That's a diddy one. That's a diddy one. It looks like a, a orange and lemon peel. Yellow ear. Oh, oh my word. Flag tail. Teku cheese, teku cheese, teku cheese. Wow. Black spot pygmy. Flame back. Oh my god, that's nice. Nice and bright. Yellow bar. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Excellent. A yellow angel fish, just a plain yellow, still beautiful. S white tail. Flame, oh wow. Tippican. So I did you one again. I like the spot. Bandit. <laughs> bandit. It's got a bandit. Yeah, it's got a band. It's got a band. Uh, Collins angelfish. The swallowtail male. So that's a swallowtail male. Wow. Is that a swallowtail female? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Ornate. Yeah, that is ornate. All right. Next up, we have a spotted angelfish. Ooh, beautiful. Guinea, a guinea, a guinea, 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 yeah, guinea. Ooh, that is nice as well. They're all nice. I just like them all. Particularly good colours there. Balina. Pick me cherub. It's going to be a small one. Still nice though. A banded, half banded. Ooh, that's a different size. That's like a medium sized one. I like the eye. Six bar. Oh my God, that's a biggie. That's a biggie. Six bar angelfish. Wow. Singapore angelfish. Oh, I like the blue. I love the shading as well. Multicolor. Dun, dun, dun. And a ornate. Or oh, another ornate male. Oh, we had an ornate female before, didn't we? A Indo Pacific Regal. Whoa! Wow! Oh, we like that. Excellent. A king angelfish. Is that the royal blue? It's got the royal blue. Scribbled. The scribbled. Scribbled angelfish. Oh, how many hours has it taken? Multi bar. A blue girdled. Oh my word. Golden. Looks like a golden. It's a bit golden. It's more like ready golden, but it's like a goldfish in it. Goldfish colour. Very nice. Lamorax. Lamorax. A masked angelfish. Oh, I can see the mask. It's like I got the mask of Zorro on it. <laughs> Half banded. Ooh. Yes, we saw one of those before. Japanese mast swallowtail. That's a full one, isn't it? Oh, it has got a swallowtail. Rocky Beauty. Rock Beauty. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. That's so good. That is cool. Emperor. Oh, fair enough. A regal fish. An emperor. Like the Emperor's new clothes. 
It's red striped. That's a Diddy one, but it's a medium sized one, but it's still beautiful. Purple mast. Oh, yes, different mask, but medium sized one. Blue ring. Oh. Yeah, just fantastic. Peppermint. <laughs> hey, we got peppermint in the other fish as well. That's lovely. A pearl scale, like pearlescent, isn't it? It's pearlescent scale. And a Chinese blue lined. Oh my God, I love these big ones. I must admit, actually. Right, so next we've got the Narcosis. Narcosis? Beautiful yellow one. Masked, another masked angelfish. It's got a yellow mask this time. A conspicuous, ooh. <laughs> oh, conspicuous. Is that conspicuous? Yes. <laughs> Korea, Koran, not Korean. Koran, ooh. I like the colour schemes. I just love the way the it's all banded and really interwork together. Japanese mass swallowtail, male, right. So there was an earlier one. We had male and female of these. Beautiful still. <gasps> A Japanese. Oh, how bright is that, guys? Griffiths angelfish. Quite fast, that one. A gold flake. That's a medium sized one, isn't it? A French angelfish. Whoa. Whoa. And the last few angelfish, we've got a black velvet. Yeah. We've got a Cortez. Whoa, it's a big one. It's a big one, guys. It's a big one. You need a big tank for angelfish. You could have one tank though of angelfish. It would be good because you could just look, sit looking and look at there's over 60 of them. Uh, blue face. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I reckon there must be four sizes in angelfish, maybe. Black box, the last one, the little black box. Right, so what we got up next, guys? Moonfishes. All right, moonfishes can shoal. So we'll leave the shoaling option till the end. In fact, then we'll bring the shoaling option straight in once we've done the first three. So moonfish. Let's have a look at a razor moonfish. Ooh. Ooh, that's cute. A silver moonfish and a diamond moonfish. Right, let's see if we can bring the spawning in. Can we? Yes, yes. Here we go. Off they go. So we'll bring some more in. Moonfish and they should now start to follow. Yes, they're now they're now uh, schooling following this little bit here. Right, so we obviously, we did this last time. It's a wrasse, this one, but we've shown it before. It's a moon wrasse, but when we did ras, it would have shown up. It's not. Last uh, Pacific, where's the, where they gone? Where they gone? There they are over here. Let's bring the other one in. So let's bring in the last moon fish, the Pacific one. Oh, where's it gone? There we go. There we go. So that's the moonfish happily meandering on the way. So next up, guys, we've got fusiliers, quite a few fusiliers, I think. So let's put them over here with the red, shall we? Red fusiliers. Ah, that's a red one anyway. <laughs> a banana fusilier. Oh, these are nice, aren't they? And a yellow back fusilier. And it looks like we can school these as well. In fact, let me just see. Have oh, they found it now? Yeah, I think they found it. Here's a yellow tail fusilier. Ooh. They're off now, guys. And a Suez. Which now they're off. We like doing that. Let's put the back. So this was the yellow tail. And this was the the Suez. Right, so last couple of cardinals. We've got the scissors, sorry, feudal fusilier. Cardinals next. Fusiliers, that's the uh, scissor tail fusilier. And then a gold band fusilier. Wow. And the lunar 
a lunar fusilier. Now, the other fusiliers have probably gone miles off now. We don't know where they went to. They went off over there. Right, so next up, we got bumpers. We got a specific bumper. And we've got a Atlantic bumper. And we've got spawning option. Do they all come back? Yes, there we go. Look, they're all coming back. Off they go. Where'd you go? You see, lost its way. So these ones are off. So they, both the Pacific and Atlantic ones are going. Right, guys. So next up, we have the mullets. <laughs> and we got a few mullets. And again, schooling option for the mullets. That was a white mullet. This is a grey mullet. Whoa, that's a big one. Uh, this is a square tail mullet. We need to get the schooling option out now. Get them all there. Come on. And then we have a golden grey mullet and a flathead mullet. Right, are they now? Go on, off you go. Go on, follow the rest. Yes, they're off. There we go. So the mullets are over here. I just love. I mean, you're going to have to put them in their own cages, of course, old own. But wow, you could put. Uh, could you put invisible barriers here? I'm trying to think now whether they would make a line in the water. I can't remember whether you could put an invisible barrier in. Wow, off they go, guys. Look at them over here as well. Flipping heck. These are all the previous. Oh, are these the mackerels from episode one. Or oh, the tuners. Are they the tuners for episode one? <laughs> it's all good. Right, so we have a striped marlin here. Just one off. Way Oh, don't move. Come on. Off you go. Striped marlin. Now, the mar oh, actually, the marlins might attack everything. Might have to kill them. We'll see, guys. Hopefully, they won't attack everything. They might end up killing too many fish. We'll see how they go. We'll see if they... Oh. They are nice. They are like hunters. We don't want them killing fish because they just make a right mess. As long as they just sail around, that's all right. Looks like they're all right. We're all right. Right. What's really good about this? All the fish fly away from here, swim away from here, which is really good. So now we're on to the cardinal fish, guys. We've got quite a few cardinal fish and we've got a spawning option for the cardinals. So let's have a go at this. Five lined cardinal fish these are diddy a yellow cardinal well actually it gives me a chance now to see which of these go to which so which of the cardinals should we just put this here it, the cardinals go for this cardinals go for that with the oh i've forgotten what the canthi is the anthias and the cardinals that answers that question now that we had earlier on oh Oh, as long as there wasn't one here, we don't want them there. Right, next up, we have a yellow striped cardinal. Ooh. They are beautiful little fish. Blue-eyed cardinal. They're quite fast. A orange striped cardinal. Oh, that's nice. Yes, we like bright. We like bright. A pyjama. <laughs> oh, it looks like scruffy pyjamas. I see why they've called it a pyjama one. <laughs> a flame cardinal fish and a bengali cardinal fish so let's just put the spawn in and see if they will are they going to follow something let's, so we just get these together put them there there we go we'll see if they all go together right so we've got three left we have the black striped cardinal Oh, they're already off up there. Look, see, the Cardinals are already going mad for it. Oh, it's brilliant. I love it. Uh, Ringtail Cardinal. In fact. And then last but not least, the Black Cardinal. Wow. That's like the pyjama one, isn't it, in shape? Right, okay, so now we got sprats, just to come on the garden. Sprats, guys, they're small, but we'll put them over here. There we go. Now, I thought there was, maybe the sprats, there is a schooling option for, like, commercial fish. So maybe the sprats, we'll be able to use the commercial schooling option, but we'll leave that for now. Right, now we're on to the chromises. Quite a few chromises, guys. Purple chromis. 
These are Diddy as well. A Chromis Chromis. Well, there we go. And the slined, ooh, lined Chromis. Right, so Agile's Chromis. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Ternate Cronus, that's got a longer tail. Sunshine, <laughs> sunshine over the water. Uh, oval, different shape. Blue green, oh yes, that is like a blue sea green. Blacksmith, oh, that's quite a big Cronus, that is. That's one of the biggest ones we've seen so far. Uh, Barrier Reef, the great Barrier Reef Cronus. Half and half Chromis. And the black black axle. Black axle. Oh, yes, the black axle behind the eye. Right, we've got two more Chromises here. We've got a little blue one. It's a uh, blue Chromis. It is a blue one with like the long tail again. And then we've got a black back Chromis. I wonder why. It's because it's black at the back. There we go. Right, so next up we have soldier fish. Dun, 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 dun. How big are these? Oh, these are good size. That's the white tip. White tip to le white tip leaves, white tip fins. Shadow fin. Ooh, I like these. These are new to new. We've never seen soldier fish before, I don't think, in this add-on. These are new. Yellow fin. Whoa. Can we? Can we? Yes. Yes. Yes, they will follow. They can school. Right, let's get some more in. So we've got a black bar. And we've got a panamic. Wow. What colourful fish. Superb. Right, so we have two more soldier fish. Let's go over here because this is where they were. Oh, that's another one. That is the pine cone version. And then we have an ep. Pulets. There we go. I think they've gone. I think they've gone. They left you behind in the far distance. <laughs> Ooh, now we got stingrays. We're going to do these over here, shall we? So we have a stingray and a manta ray, guys. So here's the ribbon tail stingray. It's been remodeled a couple last week. I think it got a remodel. Let's have a look underneath. It's a beautiful, graceful, graceful, very graceful. And then a manta ray giant. Oh my lord, look at that. <gasps> Whoa. You need to swim yourself. Come on. That is absolutely good. Go on, off you go. Go on, go and swim away. Whoa. Look at that. I can see it down on the bottom here. That is just amazing. Oh, I think they're brilliant. Oh, wow. They are absolutely beautiful. Glad to see that uh, Gaguts is doing great big creatures as well, guys. Yeah, that is good, isn't it? That is good. Right, okay, so we had... Oh, in fact, if we put put this over here, so where were we showcasing there? So we'll just put these back out, guys. You can spawn them in the tabletops. Probably get a load of fish now here on the tabletop. The tabletops, and then we'll put this one over here. Oh, I went to put... Oh, there's already some there. And we'll see if any fish come up to see these. We shall see. Right, so we have got the common cuttlefish, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. No, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Wow. And we had a mackerel in episode one. I can't remember which one it is. So we'll put the mackerel over here. We got Chud mackerel and bullet mackerel. There was one more. It may be a different type. So we'll put those out there. Do the spawning option. And then they should all spawn together. So there was one more mackerel. In fact, that might be both mackerel. No, I can definitely say those are the mackerel again schooling. Very cool. Right, guys, we're finally on the last chest. Oh, my word. I do like that cuttlefish. This cuttlefish is definitely going to be in the JPEG. Right. So next up, we have rabbit fish. 
These have never been shown before. Uh, I can't remember these at all. So these are rabbit fish. And that is the first one, which is the fuck one spot fox faced rabbit fish. Uh, a magnificent fox faced rabbit fish. Uh, a fox faced rabbit fish. That is so funny that they're called fox faced, even though they're rabbit fish. By color fox faced rabbit fish. Right, so that is it. Whoa, that is nice. This is a pa oh pork fish. We got pork fish. Oh, it's pork fish. That's why. Right, pork fish with a mixed up with a rabbit fish. So that's a panamamic pork fish, and this is Atlantic pork fish. Now are they going to all follow? Oh yes, they're off. They're off, guys. They're off. They're following. They're schooling. They are very nice pork fish. Right, anchovy. This will be a the anchovies again, like the sprats. You probably can make them all go together. I love the way that each one's got different uh, schooling. Right, so next up, guys, we have the dotty back. So this is a jaguar dotty back. Oh, yes, remember these. We've had dotty backs before. That's a jaguar one. This is a royal dotty back. They're so cute. Neon dotty back. <laughs> uh, stri purple striped dotty back. A orchid dotty back. Wow, that is proper orchid color in it. And a liar tail dotty back. No schooling option there, I don't think. It may be one of those where you don't get it, but that is a beautiful, they are beautiful fish. Okay, next up we have the darts. So this is a snub nose dart. Oh, it's a fairly good sizable fish. We've got two more darts. We've got a small spotted dart. That is beautiful, beautiful shape. And a common dart. <laughs> common dart. Yeah, lovely. Right, now on to banner fish. Now, hold on a second. Did I, did I not already do? No, but no, maybe didn't do the banner fish. Anyway, we're banner fish. Free band banner fish, guys. Can't remember if I did. I did we haven't done these. These are beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. A phantom banner fish. Oh, my God. Saving the best till last here, guys. Don't we like banner fishes? Uh, singular banner fish. Oh, wow. Schooling banner fishes. Oh, it's a schooling. Hey, hold on a second. Spawn schooling banner fish. Right. Oh, do they go together? That's that. that. Yeah, that may not be exactly right. Long fin banner fish. Looks like a placeholder. I don't know where it looks like a placeholder. That's not that the schooling banner fish isn't working right. Is it? Right. Uh, Red sea banner fish. Wow. Yeah, so we got a schooling option for the banner fish. We'll just put a few more banner fish in there. And they'll join that up. The banner fish are absolutely gorgeous. Notice some of the smaller fish are also going for the same one, which is interesting to say the least. Whoa. Atlantic tarpoon. Right, let's have a look at this over here. Oh, that's a big one. The tarpoon. I'm glad it doesn't attack stuff. What a nice fish that is. Right, okay. Mahi, mahi. Male and female. Male. Female. Oh my word. What's the difference, guys? What's the difference? There must be a difference. There <laughs> must be a difference. <laughs> Male. Female. I can't tell the difference, can you? <laughs> well, there we go. Maybe it's a size. Is it a size? I'm not so sure. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, a sailfish. Now, we saw one over here, actually. It's one. See the sailfish here? So let's just bring a couple more in. So it's like the other fish, but it's sail. I've thankfully learned that we're not... A, this is the one good thing, guys. None of the fish eat each other. So it is really good. Right. We got a royal... Gr royal grammar? Is that the only one there is, guys? Let's have a look. Oh, it's very cute. 
we not got any other grammars? Grams? Grammars? I don't know. Maybe that's the only one. Uh, oh, schooling option for commercial fishes. Herring will do that. Right, let's do the herrings. Put a million here, shall we? Put a oh, actually, get the schooling in so they don't don't disappear. Let's just bring them all. Come on, come on. Let's get millions of herrings, guys. Let's see what the herrings look like. Yes, the herrings are all schooling away together. Look at that. Just like in the real seas. Excellent. Superb. Right, so barracuda. That's quite a big fish. Hopefully they won't eat. I don't think they do eat anything. So barracuda. Does that school as well? Will that school? I'm not sure it will actually. The herrings school anyway. They're really cool. Right, barracuda and herrings. So guys, we've only got two fish left. We have got the Moorish idol. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it looks like a banner fish. The Moorish idol looks very much like a banner fish, but isn't. Maybe it's a different type of breed. Oh, the commercial. They are. So these are schooling look together. I like that. The fact they all school together. Uh, so is that. And last but not least, guys, this is a magnificent Pacific lionfish. Oh, my word. Let's have a look at these. <gasps> look at those. Oh, you need to do more of these. These are superb. Oh, my Lord. They look so good. Wow. Wow. Pacific lionfish. They are brilliant. You can imagine going through the coral and everything. Just like swimming through eating stuff. They are superb. Absolutely brilliant. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, guys, these are absolutely brilliant. So there you have it. We have showcased over 400 fish. I'm just trying to think out where we where we went from here. Where are we going back to? Yeah, so we showcased over 400 fish. I love the way they, you know, like you keep coming across different. Oh, oh, school. Oh, they're hovering around this coral here. Just absolutely brilliant. You can have lots of fun with this, tell you, making up different uh, different uh, tanks and everything. And I just love this option. This is really cool. Because you can have a medium-sized tank with that and they'd be quite happy, wouldn't you? You could almost put one there and one over here and they'd probably swim to each one. So brilliant job done by Guts Animation. I'm really big thank you for you for giving me early so I could film these. It's now out, guys, as you know. It's available on Guts Animation's Coastal Waters Discord for now. It should be available in MC Pedal really soon. Uh, go and download it. Go and set up your tanks and stuff. There's some beautiful fish to come across. Absolutely wonderful. So thank you, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. That was a long one. But it was worth it, guys. If you haven't seen me playlist, go and see me Coastal Waters playlist to see all the other fish. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye bye.